All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So part three of Global's seventh anniversary celebration is gonna be starting in just over a day from now. So in today's video, I wanna give you guys a quick preview of all of the new units, awakenings, banners, events, and all that good stuff that we can expect to get once part three officially begins. So yeah, with all that said, let's Jump right into it, starting with the first thing, which is going to be the Extreme Z area for the 7th anniversary free to play units, namely the LR Gohan, Goten, and Trunks, the Goku, and Chi Chi, as well as the Vegeta and Bulma. Now, technically, this event already exists on Global because we did get the LR Goku and Vegeta Juniors uh, early, right? So it's basically just going to be three new stages added on to this event. And uh, here's a quick look at the pool of units we're able to bring on our teams. And uh, obviously you do have to include the unit that's being extremely awakened on your team for each of the new stages. So that is once again the extremely area for the free to play units. And before we move on to the next event, let's quickly go over the extremely awakening details for each of them. If you guys already know exactly what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about, uh, I'm gonna say like three to four minutes, okay? So starting here with the LR Gohan, Goten, and Trunks first, their Extreme Z Awakened leader skill is Hybrid Saiyans or Joint Forces, Category Key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 120%, 12 key super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage, and 18 key super massively raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Their passive is activates the entrance animation upon entry once only, E plus three, and attack and defense plus 70% for seven turns. From start of turn, attack and defense plus 70%, and then E plus one plus an additional attack plus 70% when there is an ally whose name includes Goku, Youth, Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded, on the team and gains an additional key plus one and defense plus 70% if that character is attacking on the same turn. And then key plus one plus an additional defense plus 70% when there's an ally whose name includes Vegeta, youth, junior, etc. Uh, et excluded on the team and gains an additional key plus one and attack plus 70% if that character is attacking on the same turn. Their links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, Tracking Speed, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga, Joint Forces, and Bond of Parent and Child. So that is the LR Gohan, Goten and Trunks Extreme Z Awakening. Now popping over to the Goku and Chi Chi. Leader skill will be Goku's Family, Category Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or AGL types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage, or sorry, uh, supreme damage, supreme damage. And then passive is attack and defense plus 122% plus an additional attack and defense plus 22% with each attack performed up to 88%. Launches an additional attack that has a high chance of it becoming a super attack. Goku's family or joint forces, category allies, key plus two, and attack and defense plus 22%. And then the active skill, uh, active skill can be activated after performing four or more super attacks during battle, and it greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, and delays a single targeted enemy's attack for one turn. And the links are courage, all in the family, solid support, infighter, Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, and Shattering the Limit, and categories are Joint Forces, Goku's Family, and Bond of Parent and Child. So one more, we have the uh, Vegeta and Bulma, Leader Skill, Vegeta's Family category, Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or Fizz Types, Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, Super Attack, raises Attack for one turn and causes Supreme Damage, and then passive is attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack. Reduces damage received by 20%, Vegeta's family or joint forces, category allies, key plus two, and defense plus 
and changes into a different battle suit when conditions are met. And uh, the change happens uh, starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle. So once we get the battle armor change, the super attack, I think, stays the same. It does, but the passive changes. So the passive now is attack and defense plus 122%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 88%. When performing a super attack, reduces damage received by 22%, and medium chance of an additional damage reduction of 22%. And then Vegeta's family or joint force category allies keep plus 2, and attack and defense plus 22%. And their links are Brainiacs, Prodigies, Saiyan Lineage, uh, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, Royal Lineage, and Shadowing the Limit. And categories are Joint Forces, Vegeta's Family, and Bond of Parent and Child. So those are the three free-to-play Extreme Z Awakenings. And now, let's move on to the next event, which is huge. Uh, it is definitely, well, I mean, the next two actually are my most anticipated events for part three and they are the extreme Z battles for the uh, LR Vegito and LR Gogeta from the third anniversary celebration so this one of course is for the Gogeta and this one is for the Vegito so starting with the Gogeta or rather the Angel Goku and Angel Vegeta extreme Z battle first the weakness, as always, is the Legendary Power Link, which allows you to do more damage. And then, if you bring units from the <clears throat> Fused Fighters category, then you can also take less damage. And uh, as far as the stages go, there's going to be 10 stages, just like all of the other LR Extreme Z battle events. You get 3 stones per stage, and along the way, you're getting, of course, the Extreme Z Awakening Medals, you're getting some Fizz Orbs, some Fizz Kais, and once you complete the first 10 levels, you're looking at 30 Dragon Stones, all the Extreme Z Awakening Medals we need, 5 of the uh, Fizz Grand Kai's, and also enough Fizz Orbs to rainbow a Fizz unit. And then we also have a mission for 3 more stones, and all you gotta, all you gotta do is uh, clear stage 7 once. So a total of 33 stones available from this event. And popping over to the Extreme Z battle. You know what, actually, before we talk about this one, let's uh, talk about what the Gogeta or the Angel Goku and Angel Vegeta do with their Extreme Z Awakening. So, leader skill is Fusion Category K plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 180%, or Fizz Types K plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%. Super Attack 12 key raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And then the 18 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Passive attack and defense plus 180% at the start of turn, medium chance of performing a critical hit, and then medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. E plus 2 in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained, and fuse when conditions are met. And the condition is fuse when HP is 50% or below starting from the sixth turn from the start of battle, which remains the same as before the Extreme Z Awakening. A lot of people were hoping that, you know, they would reduce the turns or maybe increase the HP, but no, they did not change the fusion uh, condition, unfortunately. But the fusion, of course, is much better. So once you become the Super Gogeta, uh, 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. 18 key super greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and greatly lowers enemies' attack and defense. And passive is fully recovers HP once only, attacks effective against all types. Attack and defense plus 200% at the start of turn performs a critical hit when attacking and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, for three turns from start of turn, high chance of performing a critical hit and medium chance of evading enemy attacks including super attacks starting from the fourth turn from start of battle, and then key plus three in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained. Absolute monster. And uh, you know what, I would talk more about him but we have more stuff to get to. I don't want this video to be too long so we're gonna move on here to the Vegito Extreme Z battle. Uh, weakness, Legendary Power Link, and also Final Trump Card is the category. 
and just like the other Extreme Z Battle event, 10 stages to get the stones, to get the Extreme Z Awakening medals, int orbs of course this time, and also some uh, int Grand Kai's, and the same thing, 30 stones in total, 5 int Grand Kai's, the Extreme Z Awakening medals, and enough int E-Spheres, or sorry, uh, int potential orbs to rainbow an int unit, and if you clear stage 7, you get 3 more stones for a total of 33 stones. And let's talk about what this Vegito can do. So leader skill is going to be Batara category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 180%, or int types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. 12 key super raises attack and defense for 1 turn and causes cost of damage, and 18 key super raises attack and defense for 1 turn and causes mega cost of damage. Passive attack and defense plus 180%, medium chance of performing a critical hit, medium chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks, and then key plus 2 in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained. Performs Patara fusion when conditions are met and the fusion conditions are the same as before and the same as the uh, Gogeta, um, you know, HP 50% or below, starting from the 6th turn from start of battle. And let's take a look at the Super Vegito. So same leader skill of course, 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn, causes cost of damage, 18 key super greatly raises defense for one turn, causes mega cost of damage, and raises allies attack by 30% for one turn. And passive fully recovers HP once only, attack and defense plus 200% counters normal attacks with tremendous power, Reduces damage received by 30% for 3 turns from start of turn. Reduces damage received by 15% starting from the 4th uh, turn. And then key plus 3 in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained. Once again, just like the Gogeta, absolutely amazing. Um, arguably better. Actually, it's not arguable. I just think he's better because of the counters. So, um, yeah, this guy's going to be really fun to use, especially with the other LR Gogeta, or sorry, uh, other LR Vegito, the STR1, with all the counters going, it's gonna be crazy. So yeah, that is the Int Vegito, Extreme Z Awakening. And next up, we have the next Explosive Chain Battle boss, which is gonna be the Giant Ape Vegeta. The advantageous categories are Pure Saiyans, Giant Ape Power, and Joint Forces. And here is the pool of uh, advantageous characters as well, obviously, I will be making a video of me trying to set as high of a score as possible, so look forward to that. And uh, from there, we also have some new stages for Red Zone, 3 per side for Movie, as well as GT. So for the Movie side, we have stages 5, 6, and 7 for Bojack, uh, Janemba, and also the Broly. Now, as I've said many, uh, many, many times, the Broly one is the one that has been giving people a lot of trouble on the JP side. Um, I mean, it's also, it seems like the only one that has four phases, which makes it extra hard since you can only bring one item, right? And uh, by the time you get to this fourth Broly here, uh, you're probably out of items, you're probably pretty low on health, so it should be a fun challenge. We'll see how that goes. But those are the three stages for the movie side, and then for the GT side, we have Stage 5 versus Super 17, Stage 6 versus the Shadow Dragons, which has six phases, and then we have uh, Stage 7 versus Sin Shenron. So a total, once again, of six new Red Zone stages this time. And after that, we have some new missions for the GT Legendary Goku event. They're going to be for... Uh, the Legendary Existence, Sworn Enemies, and Fused Fighters categories. And then for the Legendary Vegeta event, we have three new missions for Planetary Destruction, Battle of Fate, and Power Beyond Super Saiyan. And last but not least, there is one more thing that I wasn't 100% sure if we were going to be getting this year, because I was expecting it for Part 2, honestly, but based on the... Uh, data leakers, the data miners, uh, info, apparently it is happening this year as well. We're going to be getting the special anniversary friend summon that allows us to uh, at least have a chance to pull some Kais, 
Uh, obviously, you want the Elder Kai's, but you can also get the different types of Grand Kai's and a lot of Sleepy Kai's as well. And uh, this is something that I'm not sure if JP has ever received. It might be a global exclusive thing. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure only Global has gotten these special friend summons, and the trend continues this year, which is amazing because I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm running very low on Kai's, so I'm probably going to be dumping a ton of friend points into this banner to get as many Kai's as possible in preparation for the Worldwide Celebration and also the uh, next Heroes collab where basically every single new unit is going to require 9 Kai's, right? So uh, that's exciting. And uh, that's going to do it, guys, for the Part 3 update, for your Part 3 preview. Um, there's a chance that maybe I left something out, but I tried to be as thorough as possible. So if I did miss something important, then definitely let me know in the comments what that thing was. But I think I basically covered everything that's uh, noteworthy, you know? So... Uh, there you go guys, that is your part 3 of the 7th anniversary on Global Preview. Hopefully you guys are excited for all the new events, the new awakenings, the friend summon banner, and all that good stuff. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.